Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to a model of my stilettos. You guys, today I'm so excited because I'm going to be showing you how to do butterfly locks without spending your whole life doing them, okay? I already have my hair braided down because this is about to be a crochet situation. So yeah, I just went with some straight back braids. You can do whatever type of pattern style works for you. I have a video where I've done a multi, uh, you know, use braid pattern. You can check that out. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description box and at the end of this video if you wanna see that. But let's go ahead, let's get into today's video. So I'm using hair from Bailey. Um, they provided this hair to me, thank you so much. So make sure you check out the link in the description box if you're interested in getting this hair. It is from Amazon and it comes in these packets. And so I have six packs like this and it came with a crochet needle, which I always appreciate. They don't assume you just have a crochet needle, even though, you know, most people do, but you know. <gasps> and 3D lashes by Bali. Ah. Your girl is crazy about lashes, so I'll try these lashes on for you guys as well. At the end of this video, you'll see how this look on. You see I don't have on any lashes right now. So this is the hair, you guys. I like that these butterfly locks are not too light messy I guess you could say because I think the tightness of them is what's gonna help hold them you can slide them a little bit if you want but they're not they just they're not too wow you the wings the butterfly wings are not flapping too much sometimes y'all know I say that the wings be flapping too much and it's too much so I like that this is a controlled butterfly lock look I think it's gonna make it lay very nice we are going to start with the back so let's go ahead so there are a couple ways that you can prep your crochet butterfly hair. The first is using a crochet needle like you see me doing here to basically open up that small loop I showed you. And this is going to make it easier for when you are actually installing the hair. Then you'll go ahead and you will slide your crochet needle like you traditionally would. You will hook it through the circle, close that latch, pull it through, and then you're going to pull the hair through. So this is basically um, me latching the crochet needle onto the end of the hair, closing that latch, pulling it through. And this is traditionally how people, when they're crocheting braids in or something like that, some pre-looped hair, they'll latch it again on the end like you saw me do. But with this hair, I feel like I found an even easier way to do this. And so I'm gonna show you that now. Just pull, it slides very easily down. So slide down that hair to make that hole bigger just you're doing that same thing just without the crochet needle and then you're going to go back to your hair you're going to slide it underneath and this is where the difference is going to come because once i pull the hair through i am not actually going to use the crochet needle to latch it back on i'm just going to open that hole up again i'm going to stick my finger through and i'm just going to pull it through so that makes it easier and it actually saves time than trying to latch that hair back on at the end. So that is the process that I started to go with. And believe it or not, as we continue through this crochet process, I found a way to make this even easier. But um, what you see me doing now is using two fingers to separate the distance between. I have one full pack in right now, so this is what one pack looks like I'm starting on my second pack. I'm using that two fingers of separation. And basically you wanna make your crochet full at the bottom. So when you have your hair up, maybe in a ponytail or something, you don't see gaps. And then as you get towards the center of your hair, you'll use two fingers worth of separation just to one, make sure that it's not too bulky or too heavy, especially when you're using um, a thicker, amount of hair when you're crocheting it in such as um again these butterfly locks and so that's what you see me doing that's kind of how you can measure it out easily so yep i'm just going ahead and i'm crocheting it in and i think i just kind of finished doing two packs now or i'm coming up on finishing two packs now 
And so I don't know why I forgot to do this center braid, but I did go back and fix that. Okay, you guys, so I am three packs in. This is how it is looking. We're going to keep going. My forehead looks, oh, whoa, but we're going to keep going. All right. Okay, you guys, so I am starting to get around my hairline. And one thing I would say is you really want to be mindful when you are crocheting around your edges because crochet is a great protective style. But listen, it will take your edges out if you do not put it in properly. So just make sure that you're being really mindful about how you're sticking that crochet needle through around your edges and just being gentle, being careful and not necessarily trying to get it too too close to the edge now also i am starting to put these crochet braids closer together so instead of doing two fingers apart i'm doing about one and a half or one finger apart in distance as i am crocheting them in closer to the front of the hairline the front of my hair Okay, you guys, as I kept going, I kept learning. So this is the size that I am making this loop now, what I just showed you. And I'm doing that because I want to do as little tension on my hair as possible. So I got close so you could see how I am basically opening that loop even more. And then I'm only pulling that loop part through my braid, not the actual whole butterfly lock. And then I close it back down creating that knot but I'm doing it that way again so I don't have to pull so much of the actual butterfly lock through my hair so I'm creating less and less tension now I am on my fifth pack of hair now and so that's actually I'm surprised at how well this hair stretched out everything is still really full without me having to um, use all of the hair so I was really excited about that you guys all right you guys so this is the finished look they did provide some little gold little jewel things and a couple several ones too but I just did the gold ones I might get some more because I do think that's a cute little look on the butterfly lot but yes I'm actually definitely happy with these finished results I'm going to see the back so you can see, hopefully you can see how far they're kind of coming down. Um, they come, they basically come down to about bra strap length. And so I'm really happy with that. I'll have more details about the hair in the box. It's definitely, it's good, it's good. And one of the issues that people have a lot of times with butterfly locks is they unravel and i can tell already i don't think that's going to be an issue at all with this hair i'll definitely do a video update to let you know how it's going how the hair is just all of that kind of stuff so be looking out for an update on that video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're going to be wanting to get that update um lashes honey lashes these lashes are beautiful i absolutely love them they're very easy to apply so yeah i threw those on i have a lash application tutorial video if you're interested in that go ahead and check that out i'll put the link in the description box below for that as well um i'm trying to make sure i'm not forgetting anything so i ended up using five of the six packs this is the other pack that is left of the hair i didn't open it i didn't use it at all so i ended up using five packs so one order should be sufficient um one six pack order my head is kind of small i guess so yeah the six packs though should be enough for anybody's head i would say and especially with the braid pattern that i use it just kind of lended to using more hair anyway but yeah one order of the six pack situation should definitely be enough make sure you check them out if you're looking to get some butterfly locks take the headache out of butterfly locks but still get the look okay so yeah thanks for watching so much again i'm crystal and i hope you subscribe to the channel so you can support me doing these videos all the stuff i have on this channel beauty lifestyle encouragement inspiration all of that I, shoe haul y'all i'm gonna have another shoe haul coming up
I'm so excited. Shoes. Um, but yeah, join the Mile High Club and until next time.